This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says, what is the perimeter? What I really like about this one is all it gives us is the nine, the five, and the seven, and it does not say it's drawn to scale. That means it could have a lot of different configurations. Here's an animation showing the different possibilities. So does that mean that all these variations have the exact same perimeter? Let's find out. So let's stop it right here. This is how it was originally given to us. And let's call the length of this part X. And if we drop this down here, this piece will also be equal to X. And then since this whole side is equal to seven and this part is equal to X, this remaining part would be seven minus X. That means this right here will also be seven minus X. And if this up here is equal to five, that means this piece down here will also be equal to five. And then to get the length of the entire base, we can add up five and seven minus X. And five plus seven is equal to 12. So this base is equal to 12 minus X. And now we're ready to find the perimeter. This height right here is equal to nine. And the sum of these three sides would also be equal to nine. And this animation shows how they're both nine. And then to clean this up, nine plus nine is equal to two times nine. Then we can do plus five plus X plus seven plus 12 minus X. And after we simplify this, we will have our perimeter. So first thing I'm noticing is the positive X and the negative X. Those are gonna cancel each other out. And then we can smush everything together. Two times nine is equal to 18. 18 plus five is equal to 23. 23 plus seven is equal to 30. And 30 plus 12 is equal to 42. And that is the answer to our question. The perimeter is 42 units. And it doesn't matter which one of these variations, they will all have a perimeter of 42. I really like how this animation adds a new level of perspective to the problem. I get asked all the time how to solve problems like these, and Brilliant is an amazing way to learn some of this stuff. If you go down here and search for geometry, these courses come up. They have geometry puzzles and advanced geometry puzzles. These are literally practice problems you can work through. I also recommend going through the interactive lessons in Geometry 1 and 2. Even if you feel like you already know the material, going through Brilliant's interactive lessons can be a lot of fun. And you can strengthen your understanding and learn some new perspectives. And if you don't know the topics, this is a great way to learn. It's way better than watching some video. You actually interact with each step. And if you get stuck, they give you explanations. I'm excited about this beautiful geometry section. I've started going through it a little bit, and it's amazing how much stuff I don't know about tiling, tessellations, or fractals. And I've just started. I'm excited to go through the rest of the lessons. I might even come up with some more video ideas. Going through these lessons is about the same amount of effort as scrolling through social media, but I find it far more rewarding. If you want to try out Brilliant yourself, the first 30 days are free, and the first 200 people to visit brilliant.org slash andymath get 20% off an annual plan. How exciting.